high definition digital video camera, ultra wide angle lens, and all for under £100. So is this really any good? So this is a full HD 180p 24 megapixel camcorder and digital camera. Its target market is, well, vloggers. So in the box you have a well organised cabbie of compartments, your camera and two accessory boxes. The camera comes with a velvet case, offering little protection but nevertheless a case is provided. In your first accessory box you have the camera cap, micro USB storage cable, a strap, a cloth, a HDMI playback cable to your TV and surprisingly two batteries. In the other box you simply have the provided wide angle lens which actually unlike the camera itself has quite a bit of weight to it. So let's have a quick gander around the camera. I will say straight off the back it feels quite plasticky. There's not really much weight to it and probably feels like a construction build that would smash into many pieces if you dropped it. But like I always say in my videos, a budget option like this will always come with cheaper craftsmanship. So on the front, you have the provided standard lens with 16 times zoom, the hole for your audio recording and a very powerful flash that can be used as a spotlight for filming. On the left side under the flap, you have the HD playback port, the micro USB port and finally a mic input which is much needed because the sound quality is pretty bad. On the bottom you have the tripod screw and the flap for your battery. You also have the cutout for the SD card supporting up to 128 gigabytes. It is a massive pain to get your card in and out of this and it really needs you to dig your nail deep in there to really click it in place. On the top you have the speaker feedback which once again lacks any kind of decency. The mic clip and well the buttons. The power and capture buttons are really pointless design. The actual rings don't move and offer no kind of function at all. They're just there for the sake of it. So finally, the main interface. You've got that three inch flip screen, which only flips, it doesn't tilt. You don't really have customization of the angle you can view yourself, but this is intended to be for vlogging. And well, if you're pointing it at your face, you're gonna be looking at the screen anyway. I'm quite impressed with the simplicity of the user face. It's really easy easy to get your head around, making it fantastic for less tech savvy individuals. You just have to press the mode button, once will take you to the playback mode to view all your captured footage, again will take you to video mode and the same with picture capturing. You'll see the icons change on screen, it's just a really simple user face so I don't think you're going to struggle with it at all. There is some customization options in the menu tab, you have a max resolution of 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second but that can be reduced with the three options on screen. You've loop recording, HDR and exposure customization. Same goes to when you're in picture capture mode, you have a whole menu of similar customizing options. So in terms of video recording quality, it's not bad. Here I'm shooting in 1920 by 1080 and as you can see, it's certainly not 4K level, but it captures a decent amount of crispness and color. If you're relying on a smooth digital zoom, you're really not gonna get it. The digital zoom is pretty pitiful and the quality when zoomed in is drastically reduced. Your wide angle lens offers drastically improved field of vision making for some great shots. To be honest for the price images come out quite well too and they are certainly crisp enough full of contrast and rather eye popping. I was going into this wanting to laugh at it and I really was and to be honest there's some aspects of it like the pointless dials that are laughable but Overall, it's actually not that bad. The video quality is more than good enough for daily vlogging. Those two batteries offers you 90 to 150 minutes of recording time. And if that's not good enough, you can actually record whilst on charge or plugged in. So I'm guessing that's quite a good usability too. For the price, it's certainly something to consider. You aren't going to get great cinematography, but for standard shots and vlogging purposes, it's certainly going to fulfill your needs on the cheap. I'll link the product in the description. Let me know what you think. Till next time.